Fifth round pick, the uh, Maple Leafs uh, select yet another tall defenseman, Fedor Gordiev. Uh, congratulations, uh, Russian obviously, but from Etobicoke with high school markings and Michael Power. Uh, kind of a mixed bag, and you're a perfect example of how global the game of hockey is right now, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't be happier being drafted to Toronto. Obviously, I've lived here ever since I moved here from Russia and always watched the Leafs. I, I, I always enjoyed it. I, I love living here, and uh, I'm just excited. Came here at uh, the age of seven. Can you remember back uh, 10, 11 years ago and what a transition it must have been like for you not being able to speak any English back then? Uh, yeah, it was very difficult. I didn't know a single word. I obviously came here. I didn't really think anything would work out with hockey, but I mean, I'm happy that it did. So. When did the goal of playing in the National Hockey League uh, finally settle in for you? How long ago back had uh, you made that an objective of yours? Uh, I got to say, Probably like my first year of AAA hockey. I, I I wasn't I didn't really know before then what I was looking for, and I obviously I enjoyed basketball a lot, and I and I was kind of thinking of between that and hockey, but then I really saw that I had a career in this. So. Your size, uh, have you been uh, I guess marked as a defenseman right from the beginning of your career? Did you play at least forward at any point in time? I actually was forward back and forth in my entire minor career and even uh, my first year in OHL with Hamilton I was back and forth this was my probably my first year of, like I played deep the entire year the entire season so Leafs are all about speed uh, how along the line have you progressed and and where have you uh, taken your direction in terms of skating and your stride uh, I think for my size I think I'm a I'm very good with my uh, speed and agility, but obviously there's always room for improvement and that's going to be a big part of my summer training, working on my stride and my pivots and stuff like that. In the scrum you talked uh, very uh, high praisingly of the GTHL. How, how great a learning ground was that for you and uh, elevating you to the next step at the O? Uh, it was huge. There was like there was a lot of help. All the all the coaches were great. All I like I had no issues ever. I I loved every second of it with minor hockey. It's was great. You had an opportunity at least early on with Hamilton and then over to Flint. Um, how valuable has your time been in Flint with the amount of ice time you've been able to get and being able to play in all sorts of top level situations? Uh, it was huge. When I was getting traded, I really didn't know what I was getting into, but I obviously spoke with Ryan and the coach and he told me that you got to earn your spot and it's yours that you play. So. I came in there and that's what I did and uh, it was unbelievable for my development, the coaching and the staff and everything. I, I couldn't, couldn't be happier with it. Leaf fan, as you've mentioned, is there a player or a moment in time with the Maple Leafs that stands out for you and your young life coming over from Russia and uh, living in Etobicoke? Uh, I can't. Um, actually, it was probably this year where they faced Washington in the playoffs and Washington's another huge favorite team of mine. So I've. I've, I think I was at two of the games actually, and just just being able to see that live was unbelievable. Congratulations to you and your family. Thank you, sir.